New Bucket season is finally out. Bucket trains for the final showdown between him and his father. Young Hama is training with his new form of image training where he can physically create an opponent to spar against. After this unique method of training, he intentionally commits a crime just so he can battle against Biscuit Oliver, one of the strongest opponents he ever met. In this season we met a lot of new characters, so in this video let's find out who is the strongest fighters who appeared in the latest episode. Bucky. Who is that? Iron Michael, what the hell are you? <sighs> He was the heavyweight boxing champion. He was born on the dangerous streets of Brooklyn in New York. At some point in his life, he met his teacher Sam D'Amato, who will teach him boxing and uh, his most characteristic technique, pick a bull. With this, Michael obtained uh, the title of heavyweight champion in the USA to later become the world heavyweight champion. He was invited by Takugawa to be one of the 36 participating fighters for the maximum tournament, so we can say that he is pretty strong, because only the strongest were honored to be a part of this tournament. In the fight against Moko Ri, a master of Taekwondo, he was able to make him look all blurry just by touching him with his fist, but Moko Ri began attacking Iron Michael's knees to avoid the boxer's attack range. Eventually Iron Michael used the wall to easily lean on and defeat Moko with one punch. Also, he had an insanely fun fight against Chiharu Shiba, but in this season he was destroyed by Mouth. These guys overwhelmed the heavyweight champion in an unfair fight. What's going on, Warden? Has something happened? Are you really okay with the three of us being here? If we're here, knowing what you know, then it must mean that, that you're in the real fix. They are identical triplets named Lips, Teeth and Tongue. They are very formidable soldiers. The mouse are extremely good for their teamwork. They can fight and support each other very well. They defeated Iron Michael, a former heavyweight boxer, by using their boxing and stomping skills. But if separate their unfair trio, these guys are not much of a treat. In the end, they were defeated by Jun Guevara and one of them even ran away and urinated in fear. As he fled, he added to the puddles of urine already collected. Set a course for treasure. <laughs> He's the former pirate of the High Thieves who went on to found his own sovereign nation of Lacerna. Guaro is one of the two free men in the Arizona prison along with Biscuit Oliver. He is described as one of the three men alive more powerful than a machine gun. He uses a fighting style developed from the exclusive use of bare hands against all weapon types and so is quite capable of killing someone in a single hit. Gewaru was trained by his grandfather, master of Mu Kakure Ryu Ninjutsu, no cover style of ninjutsu. He can defeat an opponent who has a gun to his head or destroy several abnormally strong or skilled opponents at once. Jun also defeated a member of the mouse with a single punch that broke his teeth and sent him flying high enough to be a best in a short slide for a moment. But after all, he is the second free, so he was defeated by Biscuit Oliver in an epic fight. Well, well, Mr. Baki, welcome. <laughs> He's an assassin working for the US government as well as being a special jailer in the Arizona State Prison. He possesses an iron body and is almost invulnerable to anything. He is the strongest man in the USA and the only man in the Arizona prison who has complete freedom as he is considered prison staff. His muscles are dense enough to repel close-range shotgun blasts and thrust from a katana even before tightening them. His punches are so strong that they often cave in the chest of his opponents, killing them instantly. He once punched Jun Guevara so hard that all GPS of the world started to shake and malfunction. In his fight with Bucky Hanma, he rushed through four prison rooms and punched Bucky through a steel door. He could slam Bucky to the ground and made a dent 30 cm deep. He also has an inhuman recovery speed, as he's managed to rapidly heal several hole-shaped scars he got from shotgun pellets just by eating a steak. 
As the series went on, Oliver still had the biggest muscles. Yet he lost trading blows fight to Bucky when uh, they just using nothing but power and weight. But he still remains his title and one of the strongest characters in the series. My name's Baki Hanma. To be honest, for being the world's strongest, he's a lot smaller than I imagined he'd be. Bucky grew a lot since the previous season, mostly thanks to his image trainings. In this season he showed a lot of epic possibilities. He decides that the only way for him to get stronger is to send himself to the same prison that Biscuit Oliver is contained in and fight him. To do so, Bucky kidnapped the US president under heavy security just to request to be sent to the Arizona prison to fight Oliver. To get Oliver's attention, Bucky escaped the most secure prison by dodging bullets and defeating the prison guards in a split second. Even when he was cornered by five guards holding M16s, Bucky was able to take the buttons of their uniform and crack the glasses of the director. Hence, he was able to reverse the situation by taking them hostage even though they have guns. Bucky was eventually able to fight Oliver and he kicked him so hard that Oliver was sent flying. Bucky was also able to stand up and kick Oliver after being slammed into the concrete walls and falling from the top floor of the prison. He was able to knock out Oliver by utilizing the 0.5 second when Oliver was getting ready to move. Bucky managed to succeed over Oliver in a bout of pure strength by a brawl of fists until Oliver loses. Winning Oliver in a strength fight, a fight in which Oliver was an indisputable champion throughout the series, meaning that Bucky is already on another level of physical power even compared to Oliver. Taking into account his arsenal of techniques, speed and fighting mentality, Bucky turns into an ultimate fighter. Can't you see I'm on vacation? So what do you want, huh, Stridum? Of course, Yujiro is number one. Even if he does not appear much in this season, he easily knocking out a giant elephant which one not even tanks could damage. Only this feat of strength put him higher than everyone on this list, making him towering about not only the main characters of this season, but about every character of this series so far. Thank you for watching, if you like this video you can subscribe to the channel, leave a like, comment down below what do you think about this situation right here, how do you like the new season, I like it really much and uh, see you next time, bye. Look like from corruption, they're not benefit.